Uh, it's a fair assessment. Uh, I always believe I have confidence in myself, but I definitely feel like, uh, I mean, just being out there and playing in the game uh, and doing things and trying to make plays, um, and from what I have did, I've, I feel like my confidence has rose uh, to another level, um, and it's just going to keep rising. What, is, what does Justin bring out of wide receivers that maybe other quarterbacks, not specifically necessarily just your, you know, the backups on this team, but maybe other quarterbacks around the conference in the country, you know, maybe won't do? Justin is very unique, and if you want to play with him, you have to be unique. It doesn't work any way around it like that. Um, he's going to ask the best. He's going to ask the most out of you because um, he needs the most out of you um, to do his job. And if you want to be an unselfish player, you have to give him everything he has. Um, and that uh, comes with sacrifices like coming in, working with him, throwing extra. Um, but I definitely feel like he's the type of player um, that sets a guy like me up for success. Um, I always feel like he's always uh, looking for my best interest. It doesn't matter if I'm on the field anywhere. Um, he's throwing, I feel like he, he, throws, he throws dimes. He throws the best passes. I mean, if he doesn't throw a great pass, I mean, I don't catch every ball. So we come to each other and we get, and we get a result. Dylan, sorry if this is a replay, but what do you see out of the secondary this week against Washington? They're like one of the best red zone defenses in the country. Just like matchups for you. Uh, on paper and uh, watching on film, they're definitely a great group of guys. Um, like I said about the Cow guys, um, I feel like right now, and just because it's our, just because it's our next game, they are our toughest opponent um, that we have right now. Um, and I say they're one of the best secondaries in the uh, pack. So um, just coming out uh, and trying to um, exploit and expose um, in some of them areas uh, that they have. This rivalry is one of the more emotional, passionate rivalries in college football. What, what are your emotions going into this game? Uh, my emotions are, are, are high. I don't really get to. Uh, I'm, I stay most re mostly relaxed. I don't say too much. Uh, uh, but my emotions are high. I, I, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm looking come, to come in to get after. Uh, like I said earlier, I, I'm, I'm husky hunting. I'm not. I'm not here to uh, the, to here to play with them. Uh, I'm here to uh, come and get the W, just like the team is this week. Uh, it seems like against Cal and Stanford, the second half, you guys kind of struggled to move the wall offensively. Uh, do you feel like that was more conservative? You guys were taking more conservative approach, or, or what was the, the reasoning behind that? And how do you feel like you're going to be able to play a more complete game to, this Saturday? Uh, kind of like I say, uh, we definitely didn't do as well as we could in the second half, and that's just and that was a learning uh, a learning thing for us um, to overcome that. Uh, uh, definitely hope that it doesn't happen again. Um, but I feel like we I don't think we were trying to be conservative, but I don't think we were executing. And like I said, some small mistakes um, that we got fixed uh, definitely gonna help us in the next game. What do you expect Austin to be like this Saturday? Uh, I expect everybody to be there, um, cheering. Uh, actually, I, I, I'm not even. I don't have the words because I know Alton, Alton fans. They go crazy, um, and I want to see them go crazy, um, and I want to put them in the mood to go crazy. So that's basically how I can say that.